Mmm. Bonita, carina estás. Like that, that forced kind of. Mmm. Bonita, carina estás. <laughs> Bonita, carinda eres estás. This is Elias. How old are you now, man? I'm 17, just been 17. Young guy, but you love perfumery. Oh my goodness, yes. He came in and he saw the perfume bar. It's like better than Myers. You could open up a store. You know, you gotta do the bro hug, you do this. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. pop. Mm. Gave him a hug, and I'm like, whoo, you smell good. Do you remember what you were wearing? Was it the clone you gave me? I want to be the nice guy. I want to help out these young people, you know? So I actually donated a, a few bottles. Prior to that, you were wearing green orange tweed. He was rocking it. I mean, as yeah. a 16, 17 year old, this fragrance was just like, if it suited you. Have you ever sort of like walked through somewhere? Like, let's say you're walking through the city mm. and you're on your own, you're preoccupied. You know, you're like, I got to get to my mm -hmm. appointment. And all of a sudden, bam, something's in the air and you're like, yeah, man, I think, I don't think that smell kind of overcomes other senses. It's one of those things that brings memories and thoughts. Sometimes I'm going through... You're getting too technical. I'm talking about in the moment. Mm -hmm. You're in the city, you're in a hurry, you got to get to a place and all of a sudden, bam! And you're like... Mm. And what I want to do today is, because you're a loyal man, the only person that's in your mind is the beautiful Sienna. So I want you to be thinking, if you were to smell these fragrances in this box, on Sienna, you wouldn't mm, say, baby, what's your name? Because you know her yeah. name. So what would you say instead? You're like, like mm, baby, I'm free tonight. <laughs> <laughs> All right, would, do you have like little, cute little names? Because obviously, El Salvadorian and Latina, she calls me Guapo. Cool yeah, yeah, that's handsome. right. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's a cool name. So I call her Bonita. Bonita, forget about it. All right, so if you smell this in the air, you would go, mm, Bonita. Bonita. Ah, you know what you should say? Que linda tu estas. Que linda estás. Que estás. Que linda. Sí. Mm, bonita. Que linda estás. Mm, bonita. Que linda estás. That's it. That's Ooh, it, right. what does that mean? <laughs> it means like bonita is beautiful, mm. and que linda que estás means that you, you're looking, you're looking beautiful. You're looking beautiful. Mm, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna put a blindfold on this young man, and we're looking for the. Mm, bonita. bonita. Que linda estás. Bro, right. I'm using that. I'm using that. Too. All right. All right, so Elias doesn't know what's in this box no. other than three fragrances that could possibly do the mm, bonita, que linda esta. Bonita, que linda esta. I love it. For me, all three of these are just magic. So just to, to, to save you the suspense, these are floral accented fragrances. They already have something in there that I think works really well on a woman. So, and, and I'll go on more. On my wife, I'm saying, mm, mamita, que linda estás. Boom, boom, <laughs> this is the one. The one thing about it, it's a recent edition. Okay. And I'm gonna put it here. Put, you gotta put your hand out so I can grab. No, 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 I'm gonna give you the card. Oh. Boom, 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 boom. Ding. So you're gonna smell on card first. And then, boom, there it is. Mm, bright, very bright. So give me some of the first impressions on that, on that fragrance there. I understand the florals. It's already like identified. Right, so you're picking up florals, mm, which mm. is beautiful. As a feeling overall, what, do you, what are you sort of picturing this? So, uh, is it a, a winter fragrance, a summer fragrance? I feel like it can go both ways, but yeah. I can definitely put this in a winter kind okay. of area, because okay. I feel like, I don't know, I want to say there's notes of like sweetness at the bottom of that, some vanilla maybe. This guy's a gangster already. He's 17 years old, and listen to this man. Awesome. What you've identified is right. There is vanilla in the base, mm. right? So there is okay. a vanilla touch to it. And you're right in saying that there are some beautiful florals in there. Mm. So are you seeing it as a winter fragrance? Yeah, I'd like to think so. Okay. Because of the vanilla? Because of the Yeah, of because of that vanilla. It okay. kind of, it, it adds that creaminess. And can you see this on Sienna? 100%. I'm now going to move to this guy here. I have been banging on about this fragrance forever. I love, love, love this fragrance. I will be curious to hear what you think of it. The florals from the last one is still in the air. So what do you think of this one? Ooh, deep, deep. I think they're creaminess still. So what are you detecting on this early, the early part of this fragrance? I think we are losing the florals and the, and the citrus yep. from the last one. Yep. And we're getting more of a creamy kind of like caramel. Caramel kind of yeah, vanilla, 100% winter time, 100%. How awesome is this boy? <laughs> is this a winter fragrance, a summer fragrance? How winter, you... winter, hands down. And, and the thing about winter fragrances, um, they become more sweet. And what I like to say, try not to get this in the wrong way. I like fragrances that 
that smell edible. I just wanna, I just wanna eat, you wanna eat something. Yeah, yeah, like you wanna nuzzle up to that person. Mm -hmm. You wanna just like draw close. Beautiful smell, them, and then the, the actual physical touch of the skin. It's just like, mm. for me it's magic. 100%. So I know when Sandra has a beautiful fragrance, yeah. I can't help myself but to get, to, to get close to her. I can't get enough of this, I'm just. Now we're gonna smell the last one. Okay. The last one here, I'm not gonna say too much more because, mm. did you hear that? I only sprayed once. All right, so I'm gonna give that to you. Boop, 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 boop. There it is, all right. Oh, it's, 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 it's running to my nose. It's, it's really light, and that was one spray. So just to, without disclosing too much while you're picking up the scent of this fragrance, this is an extrait de parfum. So mm. you now have a very robust, very potent, very dense, fragrance as opposed to the other two which are still beautiful in that they fall in an eau de parfum. So now we're getting a lot more density, a lot more volume from mm. this particular fragrance. What are you thinking of this one? Incense. -y. Incense. Incense. Oh I'm getting I'm getting an incense kind of smell. Okay, okay. Define it's, that incense. I'd like to Well I, I smell like underlying notes of kind of like smoke, smokiness. Right. Which which is also I think would be quite attractive. So this one here there is a very particular note that it really accentuates. The truth is, it's in my brain already. I know what it is. So I mean, smelling it, I'm getting this very distinct note. Do you see this as a winter, summer, as a... Winter. Winter. Is uh, it win autumn? Is that, a, is that a section? Yeah, yeah. I could yeah, see autumn, so a fall kind of... Like a fall, autumn. Mm. Um, is it a going out? Is it a day fragrance? Is it an everyday fragrance? I'd say maybe a going out to dinner. So kind of walk, a... walk at night, if that's what people do. It's alluring. <laughs> of the three, which one would you like to put on skin? The two that attract me most would probably be definitely that second one, that middle one. All right. So and that last incense one. Ooh, I'm, I'm impressed. All right, so we're gonna do the first one, which is the, this one here. Oh my gosh, I, I just, I, forever missing. Oh man. That's gorgeous. That's, yeah. It's traveled straight through my nose. All right, and then this one for you. I love the, I love the two sprays and the one, cause you know the. <laughs> yeah, that's right, just a, just a simple spray on the, the last one. Oh man, that, that's right. the, mm, bonita. Uh, que linda. Que linda estas. All right, we're gonna take blindfold off. I'm gonna talk about all three. This is a fragrance brand called Javoy, French. The perfume is called Fire at Will. Now, I've always been saying underrated house. I mean, if you look at this bottle versus this bottle, you're like, you're instantly drawn to this one. Mm. We'll talk about this one in a minute. Um, so I always feel that we underrate this one because the bottle is very straightforward, mm. okay? I but saw I you gave one away on your KM Fragrance Tools. <laughs> follow, follow KM Fragrance Tools. KM Fragrance Tools. The second one is another French house, but now they have more of a Japanese accent in their packaging and everything else. They're called Floraiku, which think of a haiku, which is the, you know, those poems. Yep. So really bougie. I mean, have a look at that. That actually is a leather. Oh man, it's, it's cool. heavy. Yeah, it's cool. cool, isn't it? When it comes in the box, you get the, the spray, you put it in there as a travel. So this becomes your travel. Oh, oh. oh. yeah, cool. And then the last one, Paris Monte Carlo. Big fan of this house. Yep. If you want to understand keynotes, like Ylang, in this case, it's Ylang Ylang. Mm. If you want to understand what Ylang Ylang actually smells like, boom, mm. then Paris do an incredible range. The, the, the more Moorish one, which I'm going to say it's gourmand, all right? Because you yep. talked about caramel, you talked mm -hmm. about wanting the, the edibleness of it. Which one do you think of the three? The gourmand one, I want to say it looks like that color. Yeah, right. I want to say it's, it looks like that. Okay. And then the the other one, on the other hand, you send it smelt more incensey. Mm. Which one do you think of the three? Fire oil. Fire oil. Fire oil. Okay. I'm right. saying fire, smoke. Isn't it That's funny? Like... The truth is it's the other way around. Stop lying. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, wow. So the first one is fire at will. The gourmand. The gourmand. Wow. What are you, what are you detecting? So you, you mentioned caramel. Mm. So I see caramel, so I'm seeing kind of like a burnt... Burnt caramel, so I think burnt caramel. Yeah, right, because of the coloring. Mm -hmm. This boy has an incredible nose, honestly. So what you're smelling, and he's right, is the creme brulee, the ah. burnt sugar. <laughs> vanilla, but in a very deep, very sensual way. You've detected vanilla in here, but it m more in a creamy sort of mm. light, mm. along with the florals and all the rest more of the it. base note. But here, it's the hero note, don't you think? Yeah. Do you think? Yep. So vanilla becomes the hero note in well, I love that he said that it becomes a fragrance that you want to 
draw closer. Just, you mentioned that you would love to smell that on Sienna's. I would. Bury yeah. my nose. Yeah, bury your nose, right. And th this one here, I don't believe there's incense. It's ylang ylang. Is that what that smells like? Yeah. I've seen that in some notes, the yellowish kind of looking flower. Correct. Yeah, so very deep. The difference here is that the ylang ylang is drawn from an island called Nosy Bee. So okay. in Madagascar, there's an island off the coast called Nosy Bee. The ylang ylang is drawn from there. Now smell this, chocolate. Mmm, okay. Don't you think? I, th I can see that now. Very now that you said it though, Correct. It kind of brings out that. I think what you're detecting is more than just floral. It's a very deep, it's that mm. ylang ylang with the chocolate and these other components in there. Mm. It's such a divine smell. I love that you define this as a fragrance that you would go out with. It's, it's loud, I feel like. I feel like it can be loud. I, yep. think, I think this one here definitely has a much more serious tone. So it's not light and mm. airy. It, it's a very sort of mature, let mm. me say very sensual kind of fragrance. And now of the two, which one has the... Man, fire out will. I'm still, I still want to keep, I want to keep my nose here. That's gorgeous. I really like fire will, yeah. It's your boy. And how would you say it? Well, if you smelt that in the air, Sienna walk past, you're getting ready to go mm. out. Mm. Bonita, carinda estas. Bonita, carinda eres estas. So there you have it. If you want a beautiful fragrance that makes you want to say, mm, baby, what's your name? Or in this case, Bonita, carinda estas. Then Javoy's fire at will. It's the gourmand component. It's 100%. the sugar, the brown sugar, mm. the vanilla. It's just, this is gorgeous. And when it dries down, Amazing on skin, mm. glorious on skin. Boom. So Myers in here in Australia or Melbourne is a, a large department store. You frequent it, obviously. Um, mm. uh, sorry, that doesn't quite make sense. You frequent it, obviously. Um, you anyway. frequently, um, frequently uh, 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 obviously go there.